Hello and welcome to another EM Creation tutorial. I'm um, just going to start by opening up NetBeans and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how um, we can use some of Java's variables, um, how to declare variables, how to use them and also uh, just introduce you to an if statement. Um, I know I've already sort of gone past this in previous tutorials but I never sort of covered this exactly as I have in my PHP tutorial so I thought I'd just cover it with Java. So once NetBeans is opened, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and open a recent project which is my tutorial project. Uh, that should open up and I'm going to expand it, expand projects here, expand the source files and the package tutorials. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call this variables. Uh, it's going to be under the package tutorial. I'm going to finish. Uh, first thing I need to do is I need to create a static method that uh, I can then run uh, to demonstrate what we've done. So it's public uh, static main string args. Uh, from here, I can just test that um, public static void should be. Uh, from here I can just test that we're definitely able to um, see text so I should now be able to run this file if I right click variables and go run file down here should be the output and it should say test okay so that works okay so in Java um, unlike some other languages such as PHP which I'm familiar with um, in PHP you can simply declare a variable we're saying var equals um, hi and that would be enough however uh, PHP you have to declare uh, you have to tell it, you have to tell the compiler that you want uh, your variable to be a string for example it doesn't, you can never imply what a variable is by giving it a value you have to always tell it and this is what gets a lot of new Java developers when they first start programming Java so the way you declare a variable in Java is to say, you first say what you want. So, for, for example, we want a string, um, and the string is going to be my first variable. Uh, once you've declared a variable, you can just leave it like that, give it a semicolon, and you've made the declaration. Um, but you haven't uh, instantiated the variable, you haven't given the variable a value. Um, so, you can declare it like that, and then the next line, I can say my first variable equals hi. Um, so I've declared here declaration instantiation. Um, so I've declared variable on line 9 and I've then given it a value on line 10. Um, however you can combine that so it's all one line. So you can say my first variable equals hi. So we've done the variable, the declaration and the instantiation uh, all in one line uh, which is often how you see it written uh, but there may be cases where you don't want to do that where you want to declare a variable at the top of a, a piece of code but then later on declare it uh, later on instantiate and give it a value um, you might do that in a loop for example um, so then we can make sure this is worked by saying system.out.println uh, my first variable which will print to the console the variable. So just right click and run file. You can see it's output high. So that's worked. Um, another important thing about variables in Java is that it's normally um, good practice to um, it's normally good practice to uh, use camel case to name your variables, that's the naming convention. So camel case is where you start with the first word of whatever you're naming a variable uh, is does not start with a capital letter but then any subsequent words do start with a capital letter. For example, um, so I've written my first variable um, but in C++ for example or C sharp um, the convention is to start every word including the first word of a capital letter so it be my first variable will tend to be the convention um, so 
So these are just some points about variables in Java. Um, so that's how you declare a string. Um, there's also other types. So uh, we have chars. So like char, my char. It could be C. You can have integers. So an integer is a whole number. So int i equals one. Um, you can have doubles. So my double could be one point one. You can have floats. My float could also be one point one, one point two. Um, okay. Oh, right. Okay. Convert. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, I mean, th there's almost a limitless number of types. Um, so once we've declared some variables, we can then start using them in an if statement. So an if statement is saying if something will um, is you taking a condition, and that condition will either be true or false always. Um, and based on the result of the uh, condition you can make different things happen so we can say if my char equals C uh, we can then output a piece of text saying the letter is C or we can do an else system about print len letter is not C so here we have a condition so saying if the letter is C um, so in the first case we're saying if my char is C equals equals C then the letter is C we're going to output the letter is C otherwise we're going to output the letter is not C uh, in this case we know for sure that it's going to be C so we know, we can expect that if I run this piece of code, the letter C is going to be output. The letter C. Um, however, you know, if I change that to D, then you know it's going to happen. It's going to say the letter is not C. So we can see this if statement works. It's a very simple if statement. You know, we can, we can do the same thing with numbers. We can say if um, I times two, uh, two doesn't equal let's put this in brackets to make sure uh, if i times 2 doesn't equal 2 um, so so it should equal 2 so therefore it's going to be false because it will equal 2 so i times 2 is going to be 2 so then it's not going to it will equal 2 but the condition is saying it's true if it doesn't equal 2 therefore it will output false we have false but if I change this to 3 for example then it'll be the answer will be 6 and it won't equal 2 so it'll be true and we have true as the output um, you can also declare variables of classes um, there's many different classes in, in um, Java uh, you can, these can be used to find classes or defined in the library uh, in, in the many libraries of Java or other packages um, so string is actually not a um, a basic type it's actually an object, a class so this is creating an object of type string. Um, you can also, if you look at my previous tutorial about searches, you can see here I've created a searches object, which is an object of this class, and I've also made an array list, which is another type of class that exists in a package, which is actually this package, Java Util array list. So you can have variables, which are classes, uh, objects. Um, well, a variable of a class is an object. Um, so that's just a very quick tutorial about um, uh, variables in Java and how to use them.
if you have any questions please post them as a comment and hope to have some more tools soon thanks